If you were to take a normal, civilized Mercedes and add a ridiculous amount of tire shredding power, fenders as wide as sumo wrestlers, and rear wings big enough for you to sit and have your lunch on, you get something special. You get the AMG Black Series. What I want to do in this video is take the CLK Black Series and modernize it into something that could be built today while still keep retaining the original spirit of the CLK Black Series. But first of all, let's have a look at the uh, generations of this special, very rare uh, branch of Mercedes and go through them all. And I'm gonna let you know which one is my favorite here and why and how they have evolved over time. So let's start with the 2007 SLK 55 AMG Black Series. So the normal 55 had, I think, 360 horsepower. This, though, they bumped it up to 400 horsepower. It does 0 to 60 in 4.5 seconds, and I think it's so cool that Mercedes decided to slap the big 5.5 liter V8 into the small SLK. That's nothing we're gonna see in today's world, unfortunately. What I like about this styling, I think this looks like a modern car still today, even though it came out in 2007. You have this Formula One inspired nose here, which I know some people, it, it, it's one of these features that I think you either like or you really don't like it. I kinda like it. It looks uh, cool. It reminds me of the SLR Mercedes, McLaren Mercedes as well. Had a similar style to the front end. Looking at the rear, just look how tight this is. The wide fenders adds a lot of stance to this car. These are some of my favorite wheels of, of AMG ever. And I think back in the day in 2007, Mercedes still was one of the manufacturers that did the best looking wheels and they still are today. We have a carbon fiber little lip spoiler up here. AMG, of course, SLK 55 right there, standing for 5.5 liter V8, but I think it was actually 5.4 in reality. And then we have these four Typical AMG oval bazooka tailpipes on the small SLK. I think it's such a cool design. Moving down to the 08, 2008, and this is the one we're gonna redesign in today's video. The CLK Black Series from 2008, and this has a 6.3 liter V8, putting out 500 horsepower, and zero to 60 in this CLK it was done in 4.1 seconds, almost half a second quicker than the smaller SLK. And what I love about this design and the black series of this time is that I think the added body parts, for example, the rear fenders and this, uh, this new intake in the lower part, it looks a little DTM inspired, but at the same time, I feel like they melt well into the rest of the design. Just look at how well this fender, for example, on SLK kind of melts and morphs beautifully into the body. It's not, it doesn't feel like a body kit or an afterthought. You can see that it gets a little more sharp in the CLK compared to the SLK, the integration of these wide fenders, but that just adds to the coolness of this design, in my opinion. We still have the quad tailpipes right there. I'm a fan of this generation of CLK, the, the normal one as well. I think Mercedes had a nice design identity of this time, specifically with this front end. It looks graceful, but it's still very powerful. You have the smiling grille here, which we don't have in today's models, which I think suits Mercedes. I've said this before, but it suits it more to have the top grille outlines of facing in that angle, and then the lower part facing in the opposite direction, creating more of a dynamic movement in the front end, in my opinion. Moving on to the 2009 SL65 AMG Black Series. This is the only Black Series with a big V12 under the hood. This is a 6 liter V12 with 670 horsepower. 0 to 60 in the SL65 is done in 3.9 seconds in this big beast of a machine. We still have a pretty nicely integrated body, the Black Series body, into the design of this car. It looks integrated, maybe the rear looks a little more uh, kind of body kitty, but then we have the wide body kit stretching into the fenders and also into this chamfer that we have around the taillights which is a unique feature for this Black Series that we didn't have 
on the previous Black Series, as you can see here, for example, in CLK. Super cool design and super rare. And I've seen a few of these in real life and they just look nuts, specifically if you're following it from behind. It just looks like that sumo wrestler stance with the plantedness of these fenders in addition to these super wide wheels. Moving on to the 2012 C-Class. This is a C63 AMG Black Series. You can see it right here. Still a V8 under the hood here and we have a 517 horsepower 6.3 liter V8. 0 to 60 in 4.1 seconds. Now the thing with the C63 down here is I, this is where I think Mercedes is starting to feel more or the Black Series are starting to feel more like a body kit that uh, that's not as well integrated as the previous generations. I don't know why, it just looks a little static to me, this front end and these intakes. They're very uh, product designy and doesn't have a lot of emotion in them like we have in the previous generations. Specifically, in my opinion, the SLK has a fantastic looking lower part of the front end. And here it's starting to feel more like a body kit, but it's still a very dramatic changes to the design. If they're functional, I'm not so sure, but that's that's not what AMG has ever been about. AMG has always been about adding a lot of power to big engines to the rear wheels so you can shred those tires. You can see that we have a park bench as a wing. We still have the lower part with the quad tailpipes, but I definitely prefer the oval pipes that we had in the CLK and specifically in the SLK as well. Now moving on to the 2014 SLS AMG Black Series, 631 horsepower in this beast from a 6.3 liter V8, 0 to 60 in 3.6 seconds. We still have the, uh, the pretty beautiful front end, a graceful front end with the smiling grille, and it doesn't look too extreme to be a Black Series. Like compare this, for example, and the fenders. We don't have really wide fenders that we can see are added to the car like we have in the SL65 up here. I think this was peak wide fenders for the Black Series, but they kind of lost that in the SLS. But it still looks like a very clean design and cool design, specifically with this massive wing that we have in the rear end. And we still have the quad tailpipes, but they still kept the rectangular shape from the previous C. A black Series. Last but not least, this is the 2021 AMG GT Black Series. 730 horsepower from a 4 liter V8. 0 to 60 in 3.2 seconds. You can see that the grille here is now switched upside down. Something I'm not a fan of when it comes to, for example, the E-Class or the C-Class. But when we have such a badass car like this is, I think this grill in combination with these, these angles of the headlights, it kind of suits this car, the Black Series AMG uh, GT, because it is an aggressive car. And then you have all these small splitters on the side, big air ducts in the hood here as well, as you can see an intake in the hood right there in the center as well. Looking at the rear view, this is the money shot for me for this AMG GT Black Series. Just look at this wing, it's ridiculously big and high. It looks like you can sit up here and just dangle your feet while you're sitting here and having lunch. It also looks like it's double wing or maybe triple wing. So I have one wing section here. Then you have a uh, active wing in the center. You also have another wing right here in the middle of the height of the wing. It's just a crazy to look at this design. And look at this. What I love about this, they brought back not the oval, but even better, the circular. So now we have proper bazooka tailpipes in the AMG GT from 2021. And the wide body kit, in this case, going from the SL65 up here, where it wasn't really integrated in a graceful way, pretty aggressively integrated in the design, this wide body kit. In the new AMG GT, just have a look at how beautifully this wide body kit is integrated in the entire design. You can barely tell that it is a wide body, but you know that it, it feels like it has and a lot better stance than the regular AMG GT and that's thanks to this wide body kit that we have here. That said, let's jump into the redesign here. What we're gonna focus on today is my favorite Black Series and that is in fact the CLK. I think that has a great balance between looking like a DTM car and integrating the beautiful wide body kit that all Black Series have in a sort of nice or smooth way but you can still see that they are after that that they've added something to a normal Mercedes and that's what I love about this car I'm also as I said a huge fan of this era of Mercedes I think they made beautiful cars 
at this time in two, late 2000s. So I want to keep those proportions and specifically this gorgeous, gorgeous roof line with the greenhouse and the shoulder line as well. Maybe have the shoulder line that cuts right underneath the greenhouse where the glass meets the body. Follow that line into some new headlights in the corner of the top of uh, top of the headlight. Have that line meet that point in the headlight, and also integrate a new style of front air intake in the lower part. So I want to take the AMG GT front end and modify it a little bit to make it suit this design. But I think if we do that, it's going to have a, uh, a nostalgic almost retro design to it we're still gonna notice from the proportions that it is a two, late 2000s design but with some updated graphics in the front end and all around the car for example i have to remove these uh, trim pieces that you have in the door going through the side into the front and rear bumper that is a very uh, typical detail for this time period so removing those will just by doing that will just uh, bring the car uh, forward by 10 uh, a decade or so when it comes to design and one thing I was thinking here if I should change the grill of this car because the grill to me on the CLK and this era of Mercedes it, I think that is a gorgeous looking grill it's just a very simple grill it's traditional Mercedes outline the framing of it and then you have the big Mercedes logo at the center I don't want to have this be an inverted grill for this redesign I want to keep the graceful smiling grill of Mercedes and implement that and keep that here while updating a little bit of the inside of the grill itself and of course the biggest change is going to happen in the headlight and also the lower part of the bumper as I said taking in AMG GT bumper and implementing it here try to modify it to make it suit the rest of the graphic features in the front end talking about the wheels as I've said before I think Mercedes has one of the best wheel designers in-house going back to the 2007 SLK 55 AMG Black Series which just a simple design a lot of spokes but it sets the car apart and it it suits the car it suits Mercedes to have a style of wheel like that and I'm a huge fan of the new Mercedes S-Class wheels I think they come as 21 or 22 inch on the S-Class it, it feels like those could possibly be a modernized version of these original black series wheels still keeping the elegance and the simplicity of this design but they, they do have some interesting styling to the spokes themselves and it looks more modern than the old AMG wheels so that's what I'm gonna implement here I'm gonna take the new S class wheels make them beefier and then slap them onto this design and also gonna take the side outlet which I think is functional AMG GT and apply it onto this car as well while removing the the body creases that we have on the original CLK 55 black series clean it up a little bit and just implement one single piece for the hot air from the uh, engine bay to go out the sides also want to change the side mirrors to update those those are another detail that you know if you look at the side mirrors you can definitely tell what air of Mercedes uh, car you're looking at so that's something that definitely needs to be updated the door handles look pretty similar to today like they did back in 2008 and overall this was an extremely fun redesign to do I want to make more of these designs where I take classic rare cars and just implement some new graphics on it and see what we get I'm happy with how this turned out thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video Thank <laughs> you.